What's going on everyone? Mike go back doing another box break. Today I'll be breaking one jumbo box of the recently released 2020 Topps Baseball Series 2. Crazy that Series 2 drops before the regular season ever begins. Hopefully we do get a regular season planned in just a few short weeks. Anyway, Topps flagship Series 2 is here. Little lighter on the rookie side. But you never know, Luis Roberts, the main rookie we're looking for. We're also looking for short prints and photo variations, different things like that. You do get one autograph and two relics in every jumbo box. Jumbo configuration is hobby exclusive. 10 packs per box, 46 cards per pack. So we're going to break this, see what we get. Hopefully uh, we can do well. Biggest part of breaking wax is definitely enjoying yourself and having a little fun. So that's something that I will try and do as well. For me, I just always enjoy opening at least a little bit of the flagship products, that Topps brand that's been going strong since 51 in its more current format since the later 50s. Obviously 52, the first sized cards, they were a little bigger, but just uh, a lot of fun breaking Topps flagship. We also do get uh, some exclusives, it looks like. We get the uh, Series 2 hobby exclusive packs. They're the silver uh, packs. And we get two Chrome Decades Best. So we'll be breaking them, and uh, we'll see how we do. With Flagship, I always build a Phillies team set for those who are visiting the channel just for the box breaks. Phillies fans, so I have every Phillies team set from 1951 through Series 1 of 2020. Should be able to build a team set out of this jumbo box. If not, I'll put it together. I think the Phils got nine cards in this set. So... None of them, you know, very big cards. They're all 10 cent cards, but still fun. Um, when you kind of grow up in the hobby, you enjoy things like that. And I think it's important to enjoy the hobby as a whole. Obviously, we all want, especially when opening wax, you want to pull something of value because you put money into it. And these are currently about $160 per box. So you want to hit value, but. Um, you want to just enjoy different aspects of the hobby. So it looks like, and I, someone had told me that the inserts and parallels and that stuff are on the back. They used to always be in the middle. So we'll take a look at some of the base. Dellen Batances. Got a lot of guys in their new uniforms that haven't played for those teams. Though they got some uh, preseason time in, of course. Robbie Ray. The White Sox. Mariners is a Chris Bryant. Always fun too with the flagship stuff. I usually go through and pick out some of either the players I enjoy watching the most or just cool looking cards and, uh, you know, toss them in binders, stuff like that. JD Davis, Voth, Chad Green, DD Gregorius, first tops flagship in the Phil's uniform. It's a look at. What the back looks like, if you don't happen to know already. And of course, there are other rookies in this. Luis Robert is the main rookie we're looking for. But there will be other rookies, and some of them, you know, may turn out to be really solid players. That's the uh, fun thing with the hobby and, play, you know, the young players. Some of them will develop and become a big deal. You're just going to have to wait. But really nice looking cards. Love the look of 2020 tops. Took a little while to get used to early on, but once you kind of get used to it, you enjoy it. At least I do. Nunez. Nova. Freddie Freeman. Let's take a look at this. You can double check if you're unaware of short prints and that one is not a short print but it was in the retro uniform cool looking card here's a gold foil Archie Bradley I believe these are exclusive to jumbo boxes really nice looking cards We've got an 80s decades best goose gossage we got a Mookie Betts 35th anniversary and I know these inserts are pretty neat looking 2030 uh, got some solid sparkle going on there really cool looking cards probably a cheaper insert set but uh, look good 
for sure. So that's the first pack. We'll go a little quicker from here on out, even though when you're doing a box break, and I always hear people say, like, oh, sorry about it being a long video. And there's just certain things that you know will be a longer video. If you're breaking a jumbo box with 460 cards, it's going to be a little longer. But you can get a lot out of uh, videos just listening to some hobby talk and looking at the cards. So I'm obviously not going to go through in slow motion, but I'm not going to blast through it and not get uh, enjoyment out of it. There's a nice Philly special, Reese and Harper. Texas Rangers cards in this set do have the inaugural season for the new stadium. They uh, kind of took a beating in Series 1. The Rangers had exactly one card, which is kind of crazy. Jonas Cespedes. Some nice photos. I like the uh, brightness in the pictures. Definitely, uh, I think it's a nice looking base set for sure. But a lot of products starting to drop now that uh, things have opened up a little more. We've had uh, an array of products kind of make their way out. We had Clearly Authentic. We have uh, a lot of other stuff coming out. Finest recently, Tops Chrome in a month or so. Xander Bogarts. Cole Hamels in an Atlanta Braves uniform. And that's uh, obviously a Photoshop job. And if you look really closely, it's one of those things you notice more if you are, uh, you know, if you're more familiar. And Cole Hamels pitched a long time with the Phillies. And that, to me, I'm pretty certain is at Citizens Bank Park. And that red would make you think, oh, he's going against the Phillies. But that's definitely appears to me to be a gray uniform. I think that's like a Phillies-Reds game from years ago when they photoshopped the uh, Atlanta uniform on. Which at a glance, or someone who doesn't know, you know, isn't going to notice that. But uh, you can kind of pick that out. All right, so this pack are uh, inserts. Travis Darno, gold foil. We got a decade's best... Boston Red Sox from the 50s. We got a Sunny Gray 35th anniversary. And we got a Topps 2030 of Alex Bregman. Damn, these cards look nice. They're cool. It's probably not even an expensive set to put together. It might be a big set. I don't know. I glanced at the checklist when it was released just to see what rookies were in it. And then I always look to see what fills are in it. Um, but I don't really you know, research all the inserts and everything. All right. I don't mind uh, the way that they sort at these packs uh, now. There are some cards flipped later in the pack, but generally not too bad. Marcelo Zuna. Michael Lorenzen. So hopefully they play in 2020. Obviously they're uh, planning that July 23rd. Obviously, it's not going to be the same. I'll sign up for the 60-game season. It'll be fun. I think it'll be, you know, should everything go smoothly, I think it'll be a tremendous amount of fun. Man, that's weird seeing Felix Hernandez in a Braves uni. Uh, I just think it'll be a ton of fun to, um, you know, watch that meaningful baseball. Kind of fast forward. There's an Andrew Knapp in the powder blue. You know, and there'll be some statistical kind of oddities and... It's going to be a sprint, not a marathon, that's for sure. But obviously just hoping everything works out. All right, here's our autograph. And it is Tony Gonsolin. Gonsolin. Dodgers pitcher. It's black. It's numbered to 199. Sticker auto. Baseball stars. So, not the number one autograph you'd be looking for at all. I mean, there are some sick and unbelievably awesome autographs you can get in this product, but they are pretty difficult. So I never expect much out of the autograph. Kevin Cron, gold. Rainbow foil. John Means. 
And we'll get two relics as well. Joe Morgan, Johnny Bench, and Ronald Acuna Jr. So we have two relics. Usually one I think is game used and one's a manufactured relic. Here are the odds real quick for anyone who wanted to see. Obviously Independence Day and black and Mother's Day pink and Father's Day powder blue. Those are all very tough. Gold, they look like they're three per box. So stuff's all difficult. You can get some crazy uh, patch autos and stuff, but they're all really hard. You know, the biggest thing, one of the reasons flagship products have gone up in recent years is the rookie craze. It's an interesting rookie for the Reds. Akiyama. Be interesting to see um, how he performs. AJ Pollock. Anyway, people chasing rookies and high grade and parallels. That's one of the things that kind of pushes flagship and update. That's a pretty neat card. Not a Nats fan, but definitely a memorable moment from the World Series. There's Luis Robert. So the number one rookie we're looking for. Good looking rookie card. Colt Tucker. Got a Zach Eflin for the Phillies team set. A lot of Texas Rangers in this, unlike Series 1. Jake Cave. Dallas Keuchel. It's Andrew McCutcheon, one of the big cards in this set so far due to popularity. Part of it is Andrew McCutcheon tweeting about it. Part of it is ESPN featuring it in the story, but there's a parallel photo variation of McCutcheon. There's actually a couple. One where he's crossing home plate, I think, is the SSP. The SP, he is in the all uh, maroon jerseys. It was uh, celebrating uh, an old school kind of night, and uh, he's got it. It's just crazy. I'm sure most have seen it, but that card is, last I saw, gone for like 300 bucks, which I could use it very much so for my Phillies team set because I was trying to add the variations in but might be a while before I add that one all right we got a junior Fernandez here that is upside down one one five So I guess it's an image variation. Celebrations. Got a Dewal Lugo. Gold foil. Minnesota Twins, 80s. Charlie Blackman and a Pete Alonzo with a, unfortunately, a bit of a dinged up corner. All right, this one will put us halfway through the box. Appreciate everyone watching. Comment below, let me know what you guys think of 2020 Tops. Have you gotten used to the design? Do you love the design? Do you just kind of like it? Do you think Tops Update is happening for sure? Are you excited for it? What do you think of the 2020 season? Have you broken any of this? If so, how have you done? There's a nice card. If you're someone watching and you're not a big breaker, but you would like uh, a team set from either Series 1 or this, I should be able to make up a uh, couple team sets. So if anyone's interested, you can always send me an email. You can find my email address. I'll post it in the description, but you can also find it from the About Me page here on YouTube. So Kyle Garlic. This guy's actually in camp with the Phillies. Vince Velasquez. Keep flipping around. Here's another Clint Frazier. James McCann. Tom Eshelman. He was a uh, Phillies prospect for a while. Never made it to the big leagues with them. All right. We've got a black number to 50 commemorative jersey sleeve patch of Trey Turner. 10 years. 
Cool looking cards, manufactured relics. They did those in series one. I thought they looked neat, but weren't crazy popular. Is a Shane Bieber blue? Blues are not numbered. Got a gold of the San Diego Padres, which features Fernando Tatis. Numbered to 2020. Got a future stars of Luis Arise. Got a Mike Trout, Players of the Decade. I think they do make an autograph in that set. We got a Vlad Jr. and a Robin Yunt. So I like the inserts in the product. This one, I'm pretty convinced, has the manufactured, has some kind of giant relic because it is noticeably heavier. Well, maybe not. I thought it was heavier. Maybe I just didn't have quite the grasp. Salvador Perez. Will Myers. There's a nice Garrett Cole, E Yankees. The Texas Rangers team card. All right, we got Carter Geboom, Edwin Diaz, Griffin Canning, Future Stars, Lorenzo Cain, super underrated player. Doesn't get much attention, if any, in the hobby, but really good. Joe Ross, who won't not be participating in 2020. Kevin Kiermaier. You Darvish, Michael Franco as a Kansas City Royal. He's been with the Phils the last four or five years. Big prospect for him. You know, he, he was okay. Was definitely not a uh, not the star they hoped he could be. All right, we got Oberg, Tapia, Gio Gonzalez, Alex Dickerson. We got a rainbow foil. Rainbow foils look really nice this year of Ravello. Warriors of the Diamond, Ty Cobb. We got a Bob Gibson, and we have a Francisco Lindor, 2030. I wonder if they're going to make those 2030s in Chrome. Because they'd be crazy shiny. All right, continuing to roll along. I imagine a lot of people that are tuning into this video we're probably sorting cards or looking at cards for grading or doing some sort of activity which is a little lengthy just kind of listening peeking up here and there so shout out to all you guys out there doing that that's what i do i like the shorter videos in some situations where you're just kind of watching a bunch of different stuff and other times i enjoy the lengthy videos so i can just kind of Listen to them and watch them while I'm working on stuff. There's a Keston Yera Rookie Cup. Trey Mancini. Corey Seager. Ronald Guzman. Zach Plesak. Mike Leake will also not be participating in 2020. Garcia. Trevano. Tom Murphy. Steven Strausberg. Gold foil, Jean Carlos Stanton. Nineteen sixties, decades best, Carl Yastrzemski. Got Ben Attendi and Cody Bellinger. All right, three packs to go. Plus we have the uh, Tossins, the silver packs, and the decades best Chrome. All right, seeing some duplicates here. Akima. Interesting Tyler Melee. All right, there's another Luis Robert. 
So nice to get two of them. You definitely get some duplicates in a jumbo box. I believe it's a 350 card set. You receive 460 total cards. Obviously you get inserts and stuff like that, but that lends you to some duplicates. So when you get a duplicate, you definitely don't mind it being the top rookie. Charlie Blackman, Logan Webb, Kyle Freeland, Rio Ruiz. There we go. Bryce Harper. Philly uh, Tops Home Run Challenge. Nice Phillies insert there. Tucker Barnhart. So we did get a pink, number to 50. So a pink's a big pull, uh, a tough pull. But Tucker Barnhart, not necessarily the number one guy you're looking for. These do have some value as people like to collect players from their favorite teams or whatever i assume maybe there's a few people who attempt to make a set but that's tough but that's one where if you can hit one of the big rookies such as robert you're uh you're ahead of the game berea foil warriors of the diamond bryce harper clayton kershaw and a nolan arenado 2030 all right, two packs left. Definitely enjoying this break. Kind of taking my time, kind of flipping through them all a little bit. Definitely like hitting some cards for the PC. Can't keep everything, but uh, obviously when you're breaking stuff, the more you get out of it that you want in your collection, the better. But it's obviously a pricey hobby especially if you're breaking stuff. So not really practical, really, to keep everything. Unless, you know, if you break like one or two boxes a year or you break a few handful of retail, obviously, you know, that's not necessarily a problem. But I definitely break uh, enough where just can't keep it all. Got to get some money back. Kyle Tucker, Future Stars. Is it Reese Hoskins? Brent Studer? Suter? Michael Taylor. Oh, there's a there's a really uh, strong gold foil, Luis Robert. So definitely take that. On that top corner, not perfect, but it's a freaking awesome card. There's a uh, Andrew McCutcheon, a Gavin Lux, decades best, the Cleveland Indians. You know, I was thinking about before I uh, started breaking this box, before I hit the start button. What if the Cleveland Indians do change their name? It came out today that they're uh, you know going to be evaluating that and thinking about what they want to do. So Series 1 and 2 of Cleveland Indians cards, if they get it done in time for this season, like his Topps update, going to have uh, no Cleveland Indians cards, going to have a Cleveland whatever maybe they change their name to. That would be kind of interesting. But we'll see if that does in fact happen. If so, when it happens, we'll, uh, we'll see. All right. Down here in the home stretch. Interesting card there. Cal Quantrill. Corey Dickerson. Adam Hazley. Jed Lowry. Man, there's so many Texas Rangers. This is Mookie Betts. Mookie Betts, first Dodgers flagship. Victor Robles. Jose Altuve. Elvis Andrus. Tony Walters. All right, so our last relic. It's a pretty neat one. Masohira Tanaka with the pinstripe. Looks like it's gold. That is numbered to 48 of 50. So I don't mind the relic uh, cards when they use the uh, old school design, the 85 design, that's pretty neat. We got a gold parallel of Josh Naylor. We've got a foil of Colin Moran. 
Got a Vlad Guerrero Jr. significant statistics. Chris Sale and a Luis Robert 2030. So interesting box. We got our bonuses. So we'll take a look here. I believe I could be wrong. It's just a bunch of information. I, I thought someone said you can get autographs in this. I don't know if that's true. I actually didn't look it up at all. But should be neat looking cards. Harmon Killebrew. And Eddie Murray. So two chrome versions of the Decade's Best. And we get our two silver packs. These, I do know, you can get autos and color parallels. So all kinds of fancy stuff you can get out of there. Out of here. Home Run Challenge. Not many games to choose from this year. We got Robin Yant. Nice looking card. Aaron Savelli. Xander Bogarts. George Brett. Always enjoy the silver pack cards. Just think they look fantastic. Final one. We got a black Roberto Clemente. That is numbered to 199. It's a really nice Clemente there. Got a Cody B. Randy Johnson. And Josh Rojas. So that's it. That is one jumbo box of 2020 Tops Baseball Series 2. Had fun with it. Here's the mess that uh, got left behind. Just wrappers everywhere. Got some stacks of base. That's what all the base looks like. Out of there. Pulled myself... Some Phillies. Tell real quick. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Looks like exactly one team set. I think there was a second DD, but that was it. So I hit the team set. Um, did really well on the Luis Robert. Got the gold foil. Hit two base rookies. And. Got the stack of inserts. These are all the inserts and color parallels, silver pack, relics, autographs. So I uh, thought it was fun. Had a good time. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the break. Comment below. Let me know what you think. Hit the like button, subscribe, and I'll talk to you next time. Have a great one.